Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I'm Lauren and in this video I'm going to be giving you a tour around our lovely new window display for autumn 2022 in my shop Guthrie & Ganny. As you can see it's behind me here and it has got a really lovely cool blue theme with lots of amazing origami paper birds so I'm going to be showing you all the details of that. We've got four different outfits in this window display and I've made a blog post that goes along with the video so in that blog post you will find links to the patterns and the fabrics that we've featured all available in the online shop so yeah if you check out the link in the description to this video then you can see everything that I've featured in there. So I did decide to wear one of the garments that is actually in the window. Um, it's this jacket that I've got on. It's the Megan Nielsen Hovea jacket. And the, we have used a collection of fabrics that sort of inspired this window. They are seven berry fabrics. They're Japanese and um, they come from Japan, made in Japan. They're really good quality and they are 100% cotton. They're quite narrow, so they're 110 wide. And we've got a gorgeous selection of different sort of prints and textures. So they're all on this sort of like looser weave and um, navy blue backing fabric, which has got a really lovely texture to it. Um, not, not really as slubby as linen, but the threads that are woven it are quite thick. So it has a really lovely texture to it and then it's just got different designs printed on it so some are a bit more geometric like the one that's used in this jacket um, and others are just a little bit more simple with some dots or crosses or lines and that sort of thing but it's a really lovely collection and good for lots of different garments as you'll see we've used it three times within the outfits in this window so I'll talk you through the first outfit which features the jacket that I'm wearing so as I said it's the Megan Nielsen Hovea jacket and there's lots of different variations and versions in this pattern and um, the particular one that I made is the view B but it doesn't have the little ties and um, now just so that we could sort of save on fabrics it was going to be a sample for the window we made a size zero to go on the mannequin now just to give you an idea of context if I was making this for myself and I was picking a size I would probably come up as a size six on Megan Nielsen but this one is a size zero and you can see that it does you know I think it still fits me fine it's obviously got a more snug look so I would probably bear that in mind if you are thinking about making it yourself it does come up you know it's meant to be oversized it's meant to be quite big so if you want it a little bit of a snugger fit then you can just size down in that it's actually a really simple construction it's just a front and a back a really simple sleeve um, and then it's got these lovely beautiful patch pockets on it as well and then it's got binding all the way around it and um, you are supposed to bind the seam allowances on the inside as well but because I was just making it as a sample for the window I actually just overlocked them and um, as a bit of a shortcut but I think probably if I was making it to you know be like one of my jackets I would probably bind the inside as well so I just made my own bias binding out of another print from the same collection of fabrics just so it added a little bit of a contrast now there are different ways that you can make this pattern I quilted this fabric so on the inside you can see that it's got these lovely big quilting lines so I just used the lines that were on the pattern of the fabric and I just quilted on them. I also did it slightly different to how it's done in the instructions because it suggests cutting out your three layers of fabric in, in the shape of your pattern pieces and then quilting them together. But I decided to just quilt the whole length of fabric. So I just worked out how much fabric I would need for the size that I was making. I think for this size zero, we used 1.9 meters of the patterned fabric. And then I just used a plain navy poplin for the back. The, the navy doesn't quite match the fabric, but I think it's okay. Um, what I think would look really, really nice is you could almost make a reversible jacket and just use another one of the seven berry prints on the inside as well. Um, so I printed the whole fabric before I cut anything out. So I had some cotton wadding in the middle and then the navy poplin and the the main fabric sort of sandwiching that and then using a walking foot I just quilted using the the grid lines of that that geometric pattern and um, I think you probably don't see the quilting as much because it kind of blends into the lines that are on the design of this fabric but I think if you used one of the other fabrics you'd probably see the lines of the quilting a bit more obviously it's more obvious on the inside and um, so yeah this is my version of the Hovia jacket anyway so paired with that and the outfit that we had in the window was the True Bias Rio Ringer t-shirt and um, here which is made just using some of our optic white organic jersey and then a contrasting ribbing we've got lots of lovely colors of that 
um, ribbing fabric that you can put on for the, the sleeve cuff and the neck band as well. And then that is just paired with some True Bias Emerson trousers made using our Indigo Rami fabric. We still have quite a lot of colours of that left. That was a popular kit in the summer. The next outfit that I'm going to show you is the Soul House 7 Remy Raglan t-shirt, which is a really lovely simple one. Um, it's got the raglan sleeves, it's just got binding at the neckline, there's different sleeve options that you can have as well. So we chose another more floral print out of this fabric collection to make that, um, just so that we could um, fit it onto the fabric a bit more economically. We ended up um, taking some of the fullness out of the sleeve, so the sleeve on the one that is in the window is not quite as full as the gathered sleeve as it comes in the pattern and um, just to mention that in case you make it and wonder why it's maybe coming up bigger we did narrow the the fullness in that sleeve just by sort of folding like a, a pleat in it really and um, to take some of that fullness out but yeah that's a really lovely simple cute one so if you're you know just want a simple make or you're maybe still quite new to dress making it's a really nice pattern to try so it's the Soul House 7 Remy Raglan and that is just paired with some very classic um, closet court ginger jeans using some of our indigo 11 ounce stretch fabric then the next outfit that i have got to show you has three garments in it as well so the jacket is the true bias elford which was a kit a few years ago this is made using our cotton twill fabric this is the Oxford blue colour but we have so many lovely colourways of this fabric and it's just a really lovely simple again it's pretty simple pattern for just a lightweight jacket you can make it in lots of different fabrics it's good for making shackets as well if you want a, a style like that it's maybe a bit cozier for the winter time and paired with that is the so liberated strata top which is another really simple one again it's just a front and back piece it's got a little grown on sleeve and then the hem is shaped a little bit so it's sort of is higher at the front and then it curves round and then is a little bit longer at the back. So again, we just used another print that was from the that collection of Seven Berry fabrics in the window. And then paired with that is some of the Made by Ray Luna pants. Again, another really lovely simple pattern, just an elasticated waist, um, relaxed fitting trouser, which you can use with lightweight woven fabrics this particular one is a, a viscose linen mix but there's lots of different fabrics that you can use with that and um, you can also use jersey fabrics too with it so again another nice simple pattern if you're still quite new to dressmaking or you want a quick easy make and then the last mannequin in the window is the closet core chelio top um, I'm never sure if I'm saying that right I probably should look up and see how you say it properly and um, this is another pattern that I think is so versatile there's lots of different variations in it you can make a little t-shirt you can make a sort of straighter shift dress a dress that's got sort of um, pockets on the inseam you can have a fuller sleeve in it as well so that's just a really lovely sort of simple kind of straight shift dress pattern really um, but has those options to have it as a little top as well this was a sample that was made quite a while ago so we don't have that exact fabric in i've got a feeling that that one is a bamboo twill fabric that the sample's made in but what we've got that's probably most similar to it at the moment is the tensile twill the smooth draped tensile twill which comes in lots of colors or if you are just looking for a plain another fabric that would work really well for that dress um, and would would sort of hang in a similar way to the fabric in the the one that's in the window is the viscose linen which again comes in loads of really lovely plain colours as well so a few different options there if you fancy just that that simple dress then of course accenting the window is our haberdashery details as well so that lovely big pair of scissors and um, that my dad made us a few years ago in our oversized haberdashery bits and then as i said in the beginning all of those amazing birds that just it looks like a lovely flock of friendly birds flying around in the window it's so effective because there's just so many of them team have all been very patient making all of these origami birds to go in the window so um, thank you for doing that and yeah I think you'll agree it looks really really good so I hope you've enjoyed having a little tour around the window display and seeing all of the garments that are in there I know so many of you shop online with us and you're maybe a little bit too far away to come and visit the shop in person so hopefully this just gives you a little bit of an, an eyesight into what is happening in the shop as well we've got so many new fabrics coming in for the new autumn winter season at the moment and um, there is a lot a lot a lot of new stuff so do keep an eye on the just arrived section for all the new arrivals
arrivals that are coming in. I have also just recently put out a new fabrics video on YouTube as well so you can check that out and you can see some of the fabrics up close and if you don't already follow me on Instagram then you can follow me on there as well and join in in my weekly live question and answer sessions from the shop floor where I sort of keep you up to date with all of the new things that have come into the shop that week and answer all of your sewing and dressmaking questions as well. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, then just remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.